Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome to lesson five of Alif Tuya Tajweed. So today we'll be continuing adding on to the etiquettes. We'll cover Al Lisan, the tongue, uh, continuing with that. We'll cover Hafia, which is where Mbad is pronounced from, and Dhalaqiya, which is where Lam, Noon, and Ra are pronounced from. Etiquettes. So the ones that we covered so far is to be in the state of wudu as much as possible. Begin your recitation with the ta'awwud, a'udhu billahi min ash rajim Then the tasmiya bismillahi rahman rahim Recite with tartil in a balanced, clear recitation. Recite out loud, that's how you improve, but be mindful of other people when you are reciting. And beautify the recitation, but do not let that affect the tajweed. Tajweed is the main aim. Now today, it's about listening to the Qur'an. Now there's a ayah in the Qur'an which says, وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنِ That when the Qur'an is recited, فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ Listen to it, وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ And pay attention to it so that you may have mercy. Now, what generally happens is when you're traveling, the custom of today is that you like to listen to something. If you're traveling by yourself, or even if you're traveling with your friends, you want to have like, say, a nasheed in the car. If you're traveling with other people and you know they're going to talk, avoid playing the Quran. Because the Quran is something that we are not allowed to talk above. When the Quran is recited, we need to listen to it and pay attention to what is being said. Why? Because that you receive mercy. So never have, have the Qur'an as something that is in the background while you're having a conversation. If somebody wants to talk to you, pause the Qur'an in an appropriate place. So remember to pause it, not halfway through a word. Try to pause it at the end of an ayah or at a pause sign. And then listen and then have a conversation. Another thing is when you are reciting it with the mushaf, mushaf is the physical book copy. So the Quran is something that's recited. The mushaf is the actual physical book copy. So if I said, pass me a mushaf, you'd pass the, the book version of the Quran. Quran is something that's recited. Now, when you're reciting and somebody wants to have a conversation with you, a long conversation with you, it's, it's out of adab, out of etiquette to close the mushaf. You can put your finger to know where the page is, for example, a bookmark. But it's out of etiquette that you don't talk while the Qur'an is open or have a conversation while the Qur'an is open. Close the Qur'an and have your conversation, inshallah. So just the etiquette there. Now, let's continue. The recap. We are doing the makhraj breakdown and we are on, on al-lisan, which is the tongue, the largest makhraj uh, for the Arabic letters. Now, the tongue has 10 specific areas and 18 Letters that originate from there. Aqsa al-lisan has qaf and kaf. Wasat al-lisan has uh, jim, sheen and ya. Taraf al-lisan has the most. That has quite a few. So we'll, we'll show you a graphic of that, those in a bit. And then hafat al-lisan is what we're going to be covering today. But also two of the letters from taraf al-lisan. So hafat al-lisan, there's dad and lam pronounced on the side of the tongue. And from taraf al-lisan, of the many, Two of them are noon and ra. Al-Lisan, the tongue continued. As we mentioned, these are all the letters in Al-Lisan area. Hafia is where Bad is pronounced from. And Bad is a letter that is, it is said that it is specific to the Arabic language. It is said that this is the letter that is only found in the Arabic language. And so... Arabic is also referred to as the language of Vod. Now, Vod is commonly mispronounced and it's not an easy thing to pronounce. I mean, of course, it's if it's unique to the Arabic language, then of course, those that speak English, it's not going to be custom, easy to do that. It takes a lot of practice. And so we will discuss this. Now, those that are aware of the letter Dal, Bad is not a not a full mouth version of that. They are pronounced completely from a different place. Now, those that are not aware what dal is, we'll cover that in our next lesson, which is next Monday, inshallah. But Lord and dal are completely different areas. Okay, and we'll discuss this now. Lord, 
It is when the sides of the tongue, either the left or right or both, the more advanced or more professional ones can do both, but you pick either the left or the right, depending on what's easier for you. And different books will actually say different things are easier. I've seen this. Uh, well, some will say it's left. Uh, I believe that's the more common one. Some will say right. Touches the gums close to the upper molars. Okay, so either from the left-hand side or the right-hand side. So it doesn't touch the bottom area of the teeth. It doesn't touch the bottom teeth here. It touches the gums close to the upper molars. And one video that I watched that was actually very handy to do this, to I explained this very well, is you should be able to touch the makhraj with your tongue when your teeth are closed. So you close your teeth and your tongue should be, the side back of your tongue should be able to touch this area. So if I was to do that, that sound, and try that out yourself. So um, a tip for makhraj is, Look at the definition, put your tongue in that place, or yeah, put the tongue in the place, especially for the tongue letters, put your tongue in that place, and then release the sound from there. So try to put, close your teeth together, press your teeth together, move the back side of your tongue to the top of your gums, the gums at the top. So the back side of the tongue, put it against the gums at the top, and there should be a sound, sound. There should be a sound coming out. So your tongue should curve a tiny bit as well. And as I mentioned, it can be pronounced from the left, right, or from both sides. Lord. This is completely different to dal. If I was to make dal full mouth, it would be dal, dal, which is com which is not a it's it's a, it's not a letter in the Arabic language. Dal, dal is not a letter in the Arabic language. Dal is but that's not this one lord 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 is a letter of the arabic this is uh the language of uh or the letter of arabic lugatil lord the language of lord so here we have examples and some illustrations online will actually have that your the front of your tongue will slightly touch the front area as well as a secondary area but the main pressure you do is on the sides either the left or right at the back lord 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 okay in fact and it's important to note this in many tajweed books it mentions what is the difference between lord and va va not dal va va so those that are aware of va, again, that will cover the next lesson. But those that are aware, the actual conversation is about what is the difference between lord and va, because they sound so similar. In terms of the letter that sounds closer to lord, it is, it is a va, which is using your front of your tongue, touching the front teeth. But again, we'll talk about that another time. So lord. So, can I have a few volunteers for this letter? Assalamu alaikum. Okay, try again. Try, try from the right hand side, please, from the top. Dha. So, that one sounded too much of both a dha and a wow coming in. Dha, dha. So, don't circle your lips. Don't say a dha, 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 dha. Okay. Dha. Dha, again. Va. Yeah. Li. Li. Again, your lips, I believe, circle, sound like it circled up a bit. Li. 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 Yeah. Lu. Lu. Good. So here, you for the lomma, you would circle. Lu. Lu. Okay. Yeah. Good. And try the words at the bottom. Zolla. Mm hmm. Maravon. Yeah. Good. So with the li, it sounded a bit like it went circle a bit. So li, li instead of li. Li, So do this for me. Hold. Use your smiley face as template, mm -hmm. and say 
yeah, so hold, hold your face, face as a smiley face and say, Lee, yeah. Lee, make sure your lips don't move. Lee, Lee, so it sounds like you're saying, Lee, Lee, like Lee, 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 yeah, and the way to the bottom. Do, do. Oh yeah, that's one. Yeah, good. Bolle. Good. Maro, marabun. Yep. Marabun. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Inshallah, uh, we'll move on now. The laqiya is the next one. So the laqiya is lamb. So again, this is using the sides of your tongue, but the front area of the tongue. Okay. Um. So there's noon and ra as well. From there, Noon and Ra is going to be using the gold circle, which is the tip of the tongue, right at the tip of the tongue. So, Alam, let's begin with Alam. Edge of the tongue touches the front molars, canine, and incisors. So, Lam, Lam, Lam. This is quite easy in L, almost like the L sound. Um, but yeah, Lam, Lam, Lam. Can be pronounced again from the left, right, or both sides. La, Li, Lu, La, Li, Lu. So, low, hollow, and bell. Assalamu alaikum. Right, Assalamu alaikum. So, you can have a go, please. La, li, lu. Good. Uh, just a lu, make the dhamma a bit more sharper. Lu, lu, lu. Lu. Good. Low. So, with that low, make the wow sharper. So, low, low. Low. Good. Hello, hello. Can make the wow shopper. Hello, hello. Hello. Good. And next. Bell. Bell. Excellent. Very good. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So if you have a go as well. Assalamu. La, li, lu. So with the la, you made it full of. You said la instead of la, la. So smile when you say it. La. Good. Li, lu. Good. And the words at the bottom? Low, hollow, bell. Good. With the ha, it was a bit too throaty. So hollow, hollow. Hollow. So it's got too much ha in it. It's too strong. Hollow, hollow. Hollow. So say rain, rain. 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 And from the same place, say ha. Hello. Good. Better. Jazakallah khairah. So noon. This is a bit more different. So now you're going to use the tip of the tip of your tongue. Okay. So when we grouped it, we just called it taraful lisan, the front of the tongue. But noon and ra are going to actually be using ra'tul lisan, the, very, the tip of the tongue. So noon, noon is like N almost in English. Okay. So just behind the front two teeth. Um, and na, ni, nu, nurid. Minhu and Almanna Almanna. So can I have a volunteer for this one? Na ni nu. Good. So with the with the noon, when you said yeah. the fatiha one, instead of saying na, make it yeah. a bit more smiley. Na okay. na. Na. Good. And na, then the next one. Ni. Good. Nu. Good. And the words at the bottom. Uh. Nu. Read no read. Good. Uh, minhu. Good. And alman. Good almanna. Almanna. Good, good. Jazakallah khaira. So I stretched that noon there. It's something that you learn later on. But when there's a shadda, which is this W shape, um, it basically means you have to join to it. So the meme and the noon are gonna join. And then there's a rule. When this shadda, this W shape, is on a noon or a meme, you stretch it for longer. So al manna for two counts. Okay? We'll discuss that when we get to that, inshallah. Na, ni, nu. Good. Nurid. Good. Minhu. Good. Al manna. Good. Um, one thing I noticed is that you stretched at the end. So min who where should be min who and al manna instead of al manna. So don't add an ali for a while at the end of those. Uh, al manna. The, the, yeah, that's fine. Just like the noon is fine. 
Okay, so now we're going to move on to Ra. And Ra, if the Ra isn't as simple as saying the R in English. Now, Ra, if I, it depends where you, for me in East London, we don't really pronounce like R properly. We kind of float our tongue. Ra is, is quite a bit different. It took, it took me a while to do it. But notice the difference between R, road, road, where when I say road in English with my accent, my tongue kind of curves a bit and it goes back, road, road, okay, uh, or rail. My tongue, tongue actually goes back and it almost touches the middle of my palate. With ra, ra, it's, it's quite different to that, okay? It's still an R sound, but it's quite different. So what you're going to do is, and honestly, the best way I can describe it is you make your tongue pointed toward the top, towards your teeth, and give it an uppercut. You give it an uppercut. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm sure somebody can come up with a better way, but you give it an uppercut. A lot, a lot, a lot. And you make sure just the tip touches just behind the teeth. Now, if I was to show you a, a visual of where it, where it is, it's the tip of your tongue touching just behind where you say noon. So I want you all to say noon and where your tongue makes contact on your gum, pause and, and, or say and, and realize where your tongue is touching. Now for raw, your tongue isn't going to touch a slightly back, but also it's just going to be the tip, just the tip, raw, raw, raw. Okay, so ra, li, ru. Now, one thing also to know is ra is one of those letters that is sometimes full mouth, sometimes empty mouth. Okay, so ra, when I say ra on the right hand side with the fatha, it's full mouth. When I say li with a kasra, it's empty mouth. When I say ru with a dhamma, it's full mouth. So rabbika wal maghdibu, ra he is empty. Al akhidi again the ra is empty here. So can I have I want a few volunteers for this ra because it's not as easy as people think it is. Wa alaikum salam. Ra. So avoid. So what you're doing at the moment is you're rolling it. It's something called takdeer. You're rolling it a bit too much. You're saying ra. That I'm, I'm exaggerating it, but that rolling. Avoid that one. Okay. La la. Ra. Ri. Ru. So what I've noticed instantly is that your tongue is a bit too back. So I, I need you to move it a bit more forward, not touching your teeth, but also just make it that it's just the tip. La, la. 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 Ar-Rahman. Say Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman. So what you're doing is ar So what you're doing is you're making your tongue curve a bit. Ar-Rah. So I need it to be as straight as possible. Al. Al. Al Do that again. Al One more time. Al Rahman. That was better. Good. Ra li ru. Ra ri ru. So the ra wasn't the same as you, when you did the Ar Rahman final example. Ra ra. Ra. Good. Ra. And now try the words at the bottom with that ra. Ra bika. Good. Well, Maribu. Good. Al Akhiri. Excellent. Very good. If you can unmute yourself. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. If you have a go as well. Ra, ri, ru. Good. Rabbika. Wal Maribu. Al Akhiri. Al Akhiri. So the alif should be a bit more empty. Al Akhiri. Al Akhiri. Uh, a bit more empty. Al akhiri. Al akhiri. Good, good. That was very good, mashallah. Very good. Okay. So that is today's lesson done. So what we've done today is listen to the Quran, the etiquette. So try to listen to the Quran as much as you can. Um, and this is just the encouragement as well. Um, the, the love of music and Quran cannot exist in the same heart. You either love music or you love Quran. Um, me personally, my own journey, what, uh, even when I listen to Nasheed, it's not the same as Quran. So I've got to that stage where, you know, find yourself a good reciter um, and try to listen to Quran. Month of Ramadan's coming. So especially get rid of the music, focus on the Quran in month of Ramadan. The tongue letters. 
Lord, and since I said Ramadan, Ramadan actually has a Lord in it. Okay, so it's not Ramadan or Ramadan, Ramadan. It has a Lord in it. So next time you say Ramadan, make it sound fancy. And the Laqiyah Lam Noon Ra is what we've covered today. 